today we are going to learn how to graph equivalent ratios. Now what we need to start with is we need to start with a ratio table. And what we're going to do is we're going to find equivalent ratios. Now if I want to take this example, I have the number of boxes compared to the cost of the boxes. Well my original ratio was I had three boxes that equaled eight dollars. So it's three compared to eight. Now I need to find equivalent ratios, which means I need to multiply both sides by exactly the same number. So if I started with three boxes and I multiplied it by two, I now have six boxes. But I would have to also multiply my eight dollars by two to learn that those six boxes would then cost sixteen dollars. And I could continue to do that, creating more examples of equivalent ratios. I always go back to my original ratio, so I could do 3 times 3, which is 9 boxes. Therefore, I'd have to do 8 times 3, which is $24. And I could do 3 times 4, which is 12 boxes. Therefore, 8 times 4 would be $32. I could do 3 times 5 is 15 boxes. 8 times 5 is $40. So whatever you multiply on this side of the ratio, you have to multiply on that side of the ratio. Now something magical happens when I do that. Because what I start to see is I have these two numbers. And we can look at those as an ordered pair. Where the first number represents my x value, which is this axis on the, my graph. And the second value represents my y value, which is this axis on my graph. And what I can do is use that as an ordered pair to find a location on the graph and graph it. So if I see this ordered pair of 3, 8, I start on my x, which is 3, and I go up to where it is 8, and I'm going to put a point right there. And then I'm going to take my second, which is 6 and 16. I find 6 here on my x. I go up to 16, and I put a point. I find my third, which is 9 and 24, and I'm going to plot that. I get 12 and 32, and I plot that, and I have 15 and 40, and I plot that. So those ordered pairs give me that location on the graph. Now what we can do is we can draw a line connecting all those dots, and that gives me an infinite number of solutions for finding the number of boxes compared to the cost. And what I could even do is go to a number in between, and if I go up to the line and I pull it over, it's going to give me costs and the number of boxes. It could be like partial boxes if I wanted uh, for numbers not represented on the graph. That's the power of the graph. So you can take any set of equivalent ratios and you can then go graph those by changing those uh, comparisons into ordered pairs. So that's about all there is for this today. Now it's your turn. Go have some fun.